World Health Organizations, in collaboration with SOPAC, continues to assist Pacific Islands in ensuring its citizens receive the best possible quality in its number one resource, water. And that goes for Niue as well. The establishment of a water safety plan for Niue, two consultants arrived last week to audit the water plan. According to World Health Organization Program Officer Mr. Kamal Katri, it is important to ensure all citizens receive the best water quality for consumption. One of the things that we have tried to look into during our visit is uh, trying to see if there's health-based targets included in the new infrastructure plan and uh, also the new national strategic plan. So uh, all the things that are happening at the policy level and high level uh, we would like to see if uh, there's some achievable health-based targets included uh, based on uh, the processes that uh, the water department has and also the health department has and also uh, some of the programs that are ongoing like the IWRM, uh, this is the Pacific Adaptation to Climate Change Projects. So uh, uh, everything needs to be fed into the New Way Water Council uh, and I think basically it would help uh, uh, giving more confidence to people that there's systems in place which is also checking that the water is uh, safe to drink. New has done quite well in terms of uh, the national processes, but there's some things that, that needs improvement uh, in terms of the implementation of the plan itself. And uh, we have identified those uh, while we have been here. Matt Malloy, who was commissioned to assist, the, assist order the plan, said there are only minor changes that needs addressing. I've gone around and looked at uh, multiple bores in, in storage tanks, and uh, I guess um, there's, there's uh, some safety issues that these guys are already addressing, and there's uh, some other issues that we're working through to, uh, to get uh, fixed. Uh, there looks like there's funding available. Uh, new tanks are being built at the moment and uh, the bores are being uh, constantly improved um, to, to make them safe and protect the uh, uh, Nui's groundwater source. Uh, there's, there's good procedures in place uh, through the, the works and health department to identify when, uh, when things are going wrong and uh, there's also procedures uh, what to do after they've identified those things as well. And um, <clears throat> in general the audit uh, Nui's drinking water safety plan has come out, um, I'd say, above average in just about every area and uh, we've worked with both departments on the areas that, uh, that need improvement and they've already uh, discussed and, and putting into a plan to, to implement uh, the things that uh, we've identified. Nui, he said, it's very lucky in the sense that the monitoring aspects has resulted in good quality results for Nui's water, however more needs to be done. Great news for the new athletics team that competed in the Oceania Athletics Championship last week as they returned to Niue with two medals. Janam Hopata won bronze for his discus throw of 38.97 metres and Michael Jackson Jr. also received a bronze medal for a javelin throw of 49.07. Another young hopeful for Team Niue is Missinia Misikia who made the final of the 200 metres but was unable to compete due to the team having to leave the competition early to catch the newer flight. Jaram, who is only 15, said he is delighted with his achievement. It feels uh, very good. Yeah, it's an honour to receive this uh, bronze medal. It's um, all because of everyone's support in the island, everybody, the older pairs and everything. How did you feel coming up against some of the big wigs of uh, uh, the regional sport from Oceania? Oh, it's a lot of pressure, I tell you. It's yeah, you see those guys, um, you may feel, uh, dis I felt discouraged at first, but um, as I went on throwing, um, it helped uh, to <coughs> make me feel strong throwing my throws. Yeah, and I remember about people in the way, and it's uh, all day supporting everything, yeah. But it was good. It's a good experience. New Year team manager, Ross Hipper, said she is very happy that the team brought home medals. It's very rewarding. The boys have tried their best as... Um, we encourage them from, from when we left here, you know. All they can do is do their best because they're only young, they're high school students. But they've got a lot of years ahead of them. So hopefully with this experience that they've been exposed to, 
they'll do much better things for the future uh, games or whatever competition they'll go to. Well, you know, there's only a few boys that represented you were in the, in the Oceania Regional Champs. They're really young. I've, I've read some of the big names in the, uh, in the regional um, competitions. So what do you think? I mean, you know, 15 and, and someone, one of your, um, I guess one of the participants got a, a bronze medal. That must be really, really good. Oh, I'm really proud of him because he, unfortunately, his event was yesterday morning, but we had to fly and leave Samoa to fly back to Niue. He had to compete against the people who were like three, four times older than him. But Niue should be proud of him. He did really well for himself to come up against the more experienced foreigners. So for the little time that he's had to prepare, you know, and um, the encouragement and all the help that we received whilst we were there, I'm so proud of him. And I'm proud of the whole team. Congratulations to Niue Athletics. Niue's push for a stronger private sector has seen Niue Chamber of Commerce employ a business development manager. Mr. Elliot Curtin arrived a couple of weeks ago and straightened to business as he schedules a meeting with many businesses on the island. According to Mr. Curtin, there are plans in place to assist businesses in establishing a way forward. Tourism numbers are growing, so businesses who are focused on tourism will, um, will find that their businesses they should be able to grow. Um, there's a few, there's small export markets there, um, and finding new products, new services that can go to export would be um, fantastic. Um, and I think for some it may be about joining some businesses together, finding other opportunities that align with what they're currently doing, um, and hopefully then we can create. Um, some more sustainable long-term business. Some may need a little bit of funding injection just to um, take the next step, to, to buy some capital items. Um, some businesses probably just need to have a look at the way they're actually operating at present. Um, there might be some improvements we can make um, that help them grow. Um, for other businesses, it might just be re-looking at what the opportunities are, what the market, you know, what the market opportunities are, and maybe how they can move into those. So. Um, I don't think most of them will have anything fundamental they change, um, but small improvements should make an overall improvement in their business. Mm. Now, one of the hardest things um, here on the island is, I guess, capital, as you said. Um, now, over the years, you know, there has been ongoing concerns of the availability of some of these financial resources they can tap into. Uh, what would be some of your recommendations for those who are thinking of going into business or those who wish to uh, expand on their business. Yeah, um, and you're right. Um, I think in every Pacific Island, um, funding is such a big issue. It's been a big issue around the world for, for start-up businesses. Um, we will have a fund to help um, start up and existing businesses. We're still working through what that will be, um, but we will have a fund. We'll also um, get quite involved with um, and work alongside um, Nui Development Bank because they have funds as well. And for us, it's about trying to get the, the, the people starting a business or growing their business to think about what the opportunity is and to make sure it's viable. That's one of the biggest um, issues, is thinking through the business, thinking through all the possibilities and, and actually committing to paper, this is what we want to achieve and, and this is what we expect it to do in terms of um, creating some income generation. Um, and that's what we're here to help. So... Um, you know, for us, it's about getting people walking through the door saying, I want to start a business and this is my idea, and us working with them either in a group or one-on-one -on -one and taking them through and actually helping them do that business plan. And then sometimes we'll actually, we may actually help with funding or we may send them to um, Nui Development Bank for funding or sometimes they may actually be able to, there may be no real need for funding. Mr Curtin, who will assist existing businesses and potential businesses said there are other products that can add value to a business in agriculture. Yeah, there's potentially some um, exporting opportunities, um, but it's about getting some scale. Obviously, there's freight costs, which are expensive. So it's finding um, there are opportunities definitely in agriculture. Obviously, tourism um, industry is doing very well. I think there'll be um, some added value opportunities, and I've already... Um, you know, been talking to um, industries like vanilla, and there's there's opportunities where they can actually, um, rather than just selling the 
the leaves and then the end product actually find new products that they can sell. Um, so, yeah, I, I suppose I'm still learning <laughs> what all those opportunities are. Um, but there, there are definitely, you know, people, especially in agriculture, gardening, hydroponics, um, etc., um, walking through the door quite regularly, wanting to to start or to grow. Um, and that'll be one of the other challenges. You know, there's no point having everyone do hydroponics um, because there's not a large enough market, and we don't want to um, take away from the private sector that's already developed. What we're trying to do is um, is complement the businesses that are already here, help some to grow, and where there's gaps in the market, and there are gaps in the market, um, help new businesses start up to fill those. The new business development manager will be assisting businesses on the island for the next two to three years. New soccer season for the village team started with a knockout tournament on Saturday, but not without a hitch as some teams were unable to field a team at the start of the day due to unavailability of players. Seven teams from different villages braved the intense sun on Saturday to knock each other out of competition. However, as the competition progressed, so did the mood as spectators got treated to a showdown of muscle, stamina and a little show. Team Hikutawake, the brightest off the field, was boosted by a new instant population growth that delighted everyone. Hikutawake team that was led by the New Zealand High Commissioner, His Excellency, Mark Blumsky did well, but unfortunately did not make the playoffs. As with other teams that started while well, the heat might have been too much, and near late afternoon it was left to the much stronger teams. The semi final saw the first and second teams from each pool playoff for the finals. In pool A, Fasio won, and pool B saw Tuapa still on top of the ladder. The final was just as spectacular as Fasio and Tuapa battled it out, with Fasio winning to become overall winners of the knockout tournament. The rankings, Fasio first, Tuapa second, Pine Boys third, Alofi United fourth, Hiktawaki fifth, Avasele sixth and Liku seventh. The season will continue in the next couple of weeks. The World Touch Rugby Tournament in Edinburgh, Scotland has ended with success to Niwe who won a bronze medal. The 40-year-old men's team who continued in third place right throughout the tournament ended their success with a bronze medal behind New Zealand who won gold with 27 points, Australia with 25 and Niwe 22 points. This is a major confidence boost for Team Niwe. Success also for the mixed open team who made it to the cup playoffs but unfortunately lost to a team they originally beat, England. Niue's effort was greatly admired by larger countries as they reflect on how a small nation can make the cup playoffs out of 27 countries. The mixed team competition was won by Australia with gold, New Zealand with silver and South Africa bronze. Congratulations to the New Year Touch teams who represented the island. And that's the end of our news bulletin, but Broadcasting Corporation would like to apologise to all our viewers in some of the villages that television signal cannot be received due to a problem at our tower in Sekena. The corporation is working to rectify the problem as soon as possible. Television is now only transmitted from BCN in Fonuakula and the signal is very weak to some areas. We apologise again for the inconvenience this has caused. That's our news bulletin for tonight. Good evening.